My name is Rick. I was born in Newcastle and, and I'm 19. I was first born of triplets, Reese, Grace and me. I didn't always get to do the same things as my brother and sisters. My name's Sarah, I'm Luke's legal guardian and I've had the pleasure of being his mum for 11 years. I first met Luke when he was this gorgeous seven-year-old. Um, he could chase you around crawling on his hands and knees faster than his able-bodied brothers and sisters could. Um, he's always had the most wicked sense of humour in this uh, level of confidence that's just been so such a beautiful gift to my life and everyone who has him in his life. Luke was in year 11 and his school sent a note home saying that he was going to go and start visiting some post school options providers and um, he went around to a few and he came home really excited about this one Maywell up in Maitland and um, me and Luke's mum Rach we decided we'd have a bit of a look into it and they offered us a six week placement in year 11 for him to kind of get an idea if he would be suited and if it was right for him. Maywell was just the place that he wanted to go when he finished school. I went to four different schools and I went to, I graduated all the way to year 12. So when um, Luke was in year 12, he left school a couple of months earlier than his other classmates because his mum was so unwell. When I left, I didn't know my mum had cancer and Sarah told me that mum was at the doctor's she was sick and needed to go to hospital. And I was saying, why? And Sarah's like, we don't know, why? I didn't realise it at first, but when mum transferred hospitals more than three times, I started realising something was wrong. She told me that I got cancer and, and that, Day, I was feeling pretty emotional and angry. I said to mum, is there any way you can fight? And she said, no. Nah. All her family came to the martyr and then uh, I was so distressed, I had to leave, and then a couple days later, she, she died. I didn't want to see her die like that. We weren't really sure what to do. I guess in, in that grieving moment, we knew that Maywell was our plan, but getting there, we probably took two or three months where we didn't really even talk about what life would look like. We just, uh, I guess, stuck together as a family and just tried to get through that immediate time. My friends and family were there to support me straight after mum died. I guess Luke and I have been so blessed to have um, the support of uh, my new partner, Linda. Um, uh, many people in my family say that um, Rachel sent her to Luke and I because um, just to have someone uh, with such uh, love and understanding for the situation um, just having a child with a disability, let alone having a child with a disability that just lost their mother, let alone having triplets that just turned 18. Um, there were some really big things going on in our life and uh, without Linda and our family in that initial time would have been impossible. A couple of months later, I started Maywell and that's when my life changed. Luke is one of those young men that has a lifetime of opportunities ahead of him. And that's really important for Leisure Links and Life Fundamentals at the hub here at Maitland. The people that I met changed my life. My friends and colleagues helped me, made me feel happy, cheered me up a bit with their jokes and their stories. Still to these very days, they have good stories about the past which cheered me up and that, that changed my life in general. 
I saw different ways you can deal with grief. My name's Deb Warby. I've been with Maywell now for three years and my title, my official title here at Maywell is uh, Service Lead of Leisure Links. So I'm here to organise holidays and day trips for the participants of Maywell. Luke came to my door one day and he said, I'd really like to go on a holiday. Can you help me go on a holiday? And I said, of course I can. Where would you like to go? And he said, I'm not really sure. He was so excited once I gave him the news that we could do a one-on-one -on -one trip for him to Brisbane. Just making sure that every little thing is uh, right from my end to know that on his end he's just organised and can have a really great time. It's been a real full circle of information for me where I felt really confident that things are, have been done thoroughly and that's um, why I'm so excited. Um, he gets to go away and have a great time but um, I can't think of a time where, uh, especially since Rach has passed, that I've had four days where I get to have a break and it really feels like I do because of the effort that's gone in from Maywell's part. Now it's my first Mayo holiday, so I'm pretty excited about it and so are my friends. Every participant's different because everyone has special needs and different needs. Planning a holiday for Luke was something that I've always wanted to do for the fun fact that he just loves life. Luke's never been away um, for longer than two nights from anyone in his family. I haven't been away from him for more than two nights in 11 years. Um, so I guess emotionally getting prepared for what that's going to feel like and look like. Uh, learning new skills on mobile phones, um, how to use FaceTime. All of these things took months of preparation because all of a sudden we were going to need them as our main source of communication while being away from each other. Hey, Anissa. Yeah, really excited. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We've done a lot of work and um, some of the things that we had to look at was the measurements of the wheelchair, the weight of the wheelchair, the battery size of the wheelchair, what type of battery it was. We looked at different airlines um, because not all the airlines would actually take a wheelchair. Maywell has been fantastic in being flexible with times that I can go in there and I've had training sessions uh, with the care workers on how you fold the back of the chair down, how you take the headrest out, um, how they'll use the uh, walking and pelican belt to transfer him from his wheelchair into another chair that they put him in at the airport and then from that chair into the plane seat and then from the plane seat into another chair at Brisbane Airport and then how to re-establish the wheelchair into a um, motorised device for Luke and then safely put Luke back from Brisbane Airport chair into the, um, into the wheelchair is just um, all those little steps needed to be I guess uh, really worked out but Maywell's taken and given every opportunity for us to go through step-by-step -step process. We looked at dismantling the wheelchair, we looked at making sure that the wheelchair and the distance of the, the width of the wheelchair, the height of the wheelchair fitted through doorways in um, Brisbane. Uh, we spoke to the hotel in Brisbane and sent the dimensions of the wheelchair up there as well because not always do the um, wheelchairs fit through all the doors at a hotel. It might fit through the main door, but then it won't fit into the amenities. We wanted him to go um, to Australia Zoo with everybody else, so that was really important that we went, to, we made sure that we found a wholesaler that could operate a disability vehicle that could take him through to Australia Zoo. Um, and they were just perfect. Everything, you know, when I've been speaking to them, they've got everything under control for that visit, which is what we really need. I've written about a 10 page novel for the poor carer that's taking Luke, uh, just talking about all those intricate things, if um, uh, right down to uh, what time Luke will go to bed, what he hates tomato sauce on his chips but he loves garlic aioli or all these little things that I know are going to make Luke feel, you know, really comfortable. But
but you sometimes you just forget so this book has been uh, developing over the past couple of months and um, Maywell's really open and receptive to any ideas we have to the table. They want Luke to have a great time and be as comfortable as possible. I think Brisbane will be an awesome opportunity for Luke. I think that it will in, it'll make him feel an individual in himself. It'll give him the responsibility of being alone without having a mother to take care of him and just a support worker who's about the same age as him. I think that Luke will shine once he gets up into Brisbane. I think he'll have a, a fabulous time and I hope at the end of it he can see that he can do anything he wants to as long as he's got the help and the support that he needs. If mum was here today, she'd be super proud. She would be so excited that Luke is going away. She would be so touched that Maywell have provided him with such support that just we, we couldn't imagine our life if we didn't have Maywell supporting Luke and she'd just be so proud of the steps he's taken, the money that he's saved. She, she never got to see that skill in Luke. All my mum wanted was for me to have my best wife and for my family to have their best wives too.